but it was more the kayak. It was it, it was a bonding. We bonded more, and uh, it was an awesome experience. And I would take that experience with me uh, for the rest of my life. Way down, way under the water. When you see the the intimacy developing between these couples through sports and recreation and the opportunities we provide outside of sports at night, uh, these special group settings, but then for them to work on communication skills, to talk honestly with each other about the real pain that's going on in their lives, and then to have an understanding and a patience and a compassion for each other. She has anchored him there She has anchored him there I was anticipating for the Jason back home to explode and get upset that he had to spend time with me. It was kind of intense because that's something he doesn't do with me. Um, he doesn't walk around the farm, he doesn't go on hikes with me, but he stepped outside his box. We just were walking, doing our thing, and, uh, and I kind of stopped and held her by the hands and just looked in the eyes. And I just told him I was sorry, that I had realized that um, I don't look him in the eyes anymore. You know, he's always like this, and I don't, I don't, I don't hear him, and so uh, that's one of our goals is that I start listening to him and he starts listening to me. You know, from that point till now and for the rest of my life, it's just going to be different. You know, we, we uh, re-see each other, you know. And that we communicate by looking at each other and um, I don't know, it was just kind of life changing. It, it, I, I can't see how every couple here has an um, had a moment like I had on the trail with my wife. You know. I just thought it was just going to be fun. Um, you know, little did I know it was going to be like um, um, this therapeutic. And for the first time, it wasn't about hunting. It wasn't about fishing. And it wasn't about his doctor's appointment. It wasn't all about Jason. It was about me and Jason doing something together. You know, I think what's so surprising is that people think the signature wound of the war is a guy in a wheelchair or a guy with an amputation. But in reality, there's only been 300 spinal cord injuries and about 1,800 amputations but there's 350,000 service members with traumatic brain injury and another 350,000 with post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, it pisses me off that I lost part of my life because, because I, the things I witnessed and the things I had to do and the things uh, I couldn't prevent, you know, and uh, it pisses me off that I lost time in my life, but, but I'm, not, I'm done with that. I'm not gonna lose it anymore, you know? These guys are broken and they need help. And they, these are just six guys. We have soldiers coming home still that are gonna need this. And we were just so blessed to be picked to come here. And my wife are gonna, are definitely gonna do more activities together. A kayak is very reasonable, a canoe, find a great trail, um, you know, so uh, yeah, something to kind of set the pace. Why is it important for them to draw them in so they have this experience just to shift them? and their thinking is that they don't have to fade away into the shadows, that they can become mentors and they can make the changes in their lives for the ultimate happiness of their family and generations. This is a great opportunity for me and my wife to figure out that, wow, we can do so much, so much for the other people back home. We intend to utilize everything that we've learned. I've learned, he's relearned here at the camp. Uh, going home, I just want to have a uh, have better outlook on life, you know what I mean? I know I can't ever do what I used to do, but uh, I know I can still do some things now, you know what I mean? I don't have to just sit there and watch TV all day long. I know I can do something, you know what I mean? 
these six guys were so successful and they can take their success story and go home and talk to their friends and to their caseworkers and start spreading the word that sports and recreation and and the people who are out there that want to support us really do make a difference. Our goal is to educate all the adaptive uh, organizations across the country so that they can do a similar program to what we do so we can have the help of all these organizations in, in all the states across the country so everyone's going to be able to get served. Coming out here and being able to get out on the water and participate in things that he used to do very well and be able to relearn those, he said that it, it gave him a sense of independence that he hadn't felt since he was injured. I, I wish uh, um, Americans can, can be patient with, uh, with the soldiers. We, uh, we tend to have um, difficulties uh, remembering, acting, and acting uh, you know, so, uh, socializing with society. A week like this, um, slash what we're going to take back, um, is one of those ways to kind of, you know, just put a band-aid on those things. And you know what? I don't know if it's true. You know, a therapist might say I'm totally wrong, but, you know, I like to think if I keep putting band-aids on something, you know, that's positive, hopefully, you know, just kind of goes away or, or, um, or eases up a whole lot, you know? We're gonna put the weight that we have riding on our soul and riding in our minds and the weight that we have in our life. And we're gonna take all that weight and we're gonna put it on this rock. And we're all gonna close our eyes and we're gonna feel that energy, that negative energy that I can't, that I'm not, that any other negativity that we have, and we're gonna feel it go down the back of our brains down our spine, down the back of our neck, through our shoulders, through our arms, and we're gonna put that energy through our hands and into this rock. And we're gonna feel this rock get heavier and heavier and heavier. And we're gonna put all that weight on this rock and we're gonna stand up and we're gonna feel all that weight and we're gonna throw this into the lake. <clears throat> <sighs> <laughs> oh, they're probably gonna come yeah. out. Oh. Oh. Like oh. oh. Okay, who's moving home? That you have loved and lost in life But now you have to learn how to let it go You've only just begun now to heal the wounds You've really got a long, long way to go But I will always I be right here <laughs> beside you To comfort you and help you on your way So don't you worry now about tomorrow just forget about yesterday But have a little faith in me, my darling Leave a little light shining in the dark Let a little pain slip through your fingers Let a little love into your heart but Show a little faith in me, my darling Be there to catch you when you fall But have a little faith 